Hi, in my last few videos I was talking about gene expression and gene cloning and today I want to talk about identifying and studying translation of the cloned gene um, and this product is protein. And before I start I want to briefly remind how uh, this process works. It is two-step process if we'll take a piece of DNA and let's say that this is going to be a gene and here is a gene so first step would be transcription to message RNA it's mRNA and then there are going to be a translation second stage um, it's going to be translated into the uh, polypeptide uh, chain um, of 20 amino acids Um, there is um, on the DNA it could be adenine, guanine, cytosine and thymine and on the RNA uh, there are going to be um, adenine would pair with um, uh, thymine, but in the case of mRNA it's going to be uracil and guanine with cytosine, cytosine with guanine and thymine with adenine and uh, this for letters of life uh, form um, uh, three triplets that would be translated uh, into um, 20 amino acids. This can form 64 uh, different combinations but only 20 amino acids um, uh, form uh, proteins. So um, over the years gene cloning has become um, increasingly useful, useful in the study not only of the gene structure um, itself but also uh, of the um, product uh, encoded by the gene and um, investigations into the protein structure um, has benefited uh, from uh, study of the uh, gene cloning and um, research that allowed uh, different uh, techniques to be developed that allows um, certain uh, mutations to be uh, inserted in uh, certain places on the uh, gene that would be later um, directly influence uh, amino acids uh, composition of the protein and that would lead to changes in function and uh, structure of the protein. Uh, before considering uh, these procedures we should uh, uh, face uh, mundane uh, question how we can purify um, uh, protein of the cloned gene because there is uh, each cell has uh, thousands and thousands of genes and um, many of them uh, simultaneously produce a uh, message RNAs and uh, different proteins so the question is how we can 
uh, purify uh, exact product of the um, cloned gene. And there are two related techniques exist. Uh, that is uh, HRT and uh, HART. Um, it is uh, stands for hybrid release translations and hybrid arrest translation. Uh, so um, um, this is two related techniques and um, both depends on the ability of the purified mRNA to direct uh, synthesis of the protein in cell-free uh, translation system. These uh, two systems, based on the um, extracts of the wheat seeds or from uh, rabbit uh, reticulocyte cells, um, and uh, both these uh, uh, self-free translation systems are v exceptionally active in protein synthesis. Um, so, um, what this self-free uh, uh, synthesis uh, system consists of? First of all, uh, it is um, ribosomes and this is also tRNAs and also we have to add 20 amino acids um, all proteins made of uh, these 20 amino acids and we have to uh, marker one uh, amino acid to be it uh, radioactive marker usually it is uh, 35 um, S35 mesianine and also we add in this cell-free translation system uh, purified mRNA and mRNA going to be translated um, and uh, let me change the color here and mRNA with the help of ribosomes uh, will build a protein chain. So one mRNA can be translated simul simultaneously at different places. Um, and um, this is would be our markers here every time where they are going to be mesanine in the polypeptide chain uh, this is going to be radioactive marker so um, this is going to be our product and uh, with our next step we're going to use um, agarose gel and this is going to be two loads one of it with uh, leather of the proteins which uh, molecular weight is known so for this letter we know molecular weight of each um, stripe and here going to be our um, stripe of the uh, protein 
but due to uh, impurities of the cell extract there could be many other proteins present so um, this is in theory how it works but how we would be able to detect um, exactly uh, our protein this is uh, where our two methods uh, come and play uh, with uh, first method that is uh, hybrid uh, release translation uh, first of all with message RNA we have to make a hybrid so if we'll take one mRNA and we'll use uh, reverse uh, transcriptase we build a uh, hybrid mRNA and DNA and then we take um, membrane this is could be with the um, cellulose membrane or it could be nylon nylon uh, membrane uh, we degrade um, this hybrid and would be left with only DNA counterpart so this DNA will be fixed on this membrane and when we add our mixture with all the impurities uh, of the different message RNA um, our DNA that is complementary to RNA of our interest uh, would hybridize let me change color so this is would be hybrid of the DNA that is fixed to membrane and RNA and then we just have to discard all this mix and only um, DNA and mRNA hybrids would be left so what we get here would be only um, one stripe because we purified um, message RNA from all the rest RNA um, so this is um, hybrid release and with uh, hybrid arrest it's slightly different so instead using of hybrid that is fixed we add um, DNA that is complementary to message RNA that we got with the same technique with reverse transcriptase we add it to our mixture so um, if we run the gel one more time what we're going to get we're going to get many stripes here oh, 
one second. We are going to get um, many stripes here. Except the only one where message RNA form hybrid with DNA. So such message RNA won't be able to mm, translate into the uh, polypeptide chain. So it's going to be missing here because all the rest message RNA would be translated into the protein product but arrested uh, message RNA won't be. So this is another method how to detect um, protein of our interest. So we have to perform this experiment twice. First with um, all mRNA present that would make here a column of the all the proteins that were expressed and then we have to run it second time to find the stripe that would be um, won't be present after uh, our message RNA were arrested. So as you see the hybrid release uh, translation method is uh, a little bit uh, easier because it's made in one step in comparison with hybrid arrest translation. So it's used in most cases. Um, this is how purification uh, of the protein of our interest uh, from a cloned gene uh, is working. So um, thank you for your attention and goodbye.